Uh, hi, this is Joe again with another movie review. For the sake of this video, we're going to be discussing the 1996 film Jerry Maguire, starring Tom Cruise, Renee Zellweger, Cuba Gooding Jr., Jay Moore, and also it has Kelly Preston stars in it as well. Of course, this movie, of course, uh, earned on this, on the role that Cuba Gooding had, Jr. had. Earned him the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, and we're gonna get into that, you know, in, in a minute, and you know, throughout the video. Of course, this movie, of course, has some of the cheesiest lines ever made for a movie, and some of the most made fun of lines, I should say, which I'll also we'll get into during during this review. Of course, in this this movie, of course, who who doesn't know the plot of Jerry Maguire? I mean, he had any like brain that that's not the, the plot of this movie. Um, the movie stars uh, Tom Cruise as a tall character, uh, Jay McGuire, who works as a sports agent. And during this film, he is at first trying to uh, pay more attention to Jay O'Connell's character than his previous client, who was Cooper Gooden Jr. Uh, because he was a new young player and a football player, I might add, and he was about to be uh, drafted be the number one draft pick in the next NFL draft. So so he's, nego so he's negotiating a deal with Denver and meanwhile this other uh, agent works in the same firm as he does, played by Jay Moore, who was the a-hole in the movie, swoops in and steals Jerry O'Connell from Jerry Maguire. And of course pisses off Jerry Maguire to no end. And he says, how, how do you, I already got this deal set up with, with Denver, because I have a connection with Denver, I worked with them before, uh, or Denver Falcons before, I know the GM there and the owner, I worked with them before, I got this sweet hard deal for the guy, and you came in and screwed, but, and, and screwed me? And he says, well, there's the nature of the business, Jerry, there's the nature of the business. And, well, when that happened, J uh, Jerry wrote a memo, a memorandum for, for the firm, and how they could approve business and all that type of thing. And instead of writing like a one or two page memo, he wrote like a hundred or two hundred page memo saying instead of having more clients, we should have fewer clients and we should be more conservative asking for money. You know, from the, from these team owners. And guess what happened? Of course a week later he gets off gets fired and the guy who lived the news was the Jay Moore character. So they they, they screwed him royally, and while this was going on, he was engaged to uh, Kelly Preston. It was a pretty big scene where you see Kelly Preston naked in this movie, which can't be too bad. Uh, but while that stuff was going on, she te uh, he tells him that he got fired, and he, he says, and she says to him, "Why are you crazy? You know, doing what you did, you, and, said, and she says to him, you screwed yourself out of this job, the sweetheart job you had. And then she, and then she, Kelly Preston ended up dumping Tom Cruise, according to losing a boy like this, you loser, to Tom Cruise, you to humiliate him even further. So what Tom Cruise decides to do was, Jay Moore stole all his, stole all of Jerry Maguire's clients, and he had nobody except for Cuba Gooding Jr.'s character. And that's when you had, within about 20 minutes of this movie, we had the most famous and iconic scene in the whole movie with Cuba Gooding Jr. topless, screaming, Show me the money! And that's, you know, the most. Well, uh, one of the other lines that the quote as well, I want to get, in, and get into that later. But that's, at first, that's like the, really the first, really most quotable line. In Jerry Maguire, show me, show me the money, you know, and and, and, and because it was because Cooper Gordon Jr. was shining, show me the money. That's what earned him the Academy Award for best for supporting actor. I mean, because of that, that's because of that. They gave him the Oscar for it. I mean, come on, if it, it has to be a more better part for somebody to win an, an Oscar. It was a stupid idiotic cash face, which that, which that was, and I kind of can't. That's what he did before with Tom Hanks before with Scuff, too, because he had to have all those lines, you know, a, a year later. And so, because after, he, after Jerry got fired, he decides to f form his own company. 
And he says, does anybody here want to go with me and work with me? And there's only one person who decided to volunteer, and it was Renee Zellweger's character. I think she was, I think this might have been her first movie in that, in that show on there. Um, and Lisa's definitely one for early roles. And this is when Renee Zellweger looked hot in this movie. But better than she did in Chicago, because in Chicago she had the ugly sourpuss face to move. You know, the ugly sourpuss face that she had. In Chicago, she didn't have it in this movie. She didn't have the ugly like, like she had an expression on her face in Chicago, like she was sucking on lemons. You get the, you know, ugly puss face look on her face. Here, she didn't have that. And she made, and, and she, she was prettier in this movie than she was in, um, Chicago. Uh, which, which she was nominated for an Academy Award. I think she was nominated for an Academy Award for the, for, for, for uh, I don't think she even got a nomination, an Oscar nomination for this movie, because she was too new on the scene. But I thought she was great. I think she gave a better performance in this movie than, sh than in Chicago, because this character is more realistic. Um, uh, she played an accountant in the film, where she said, okay, I'll go with you. And they were struggling to, when you were know, this, that's this one client, and they were working out of Renee Zellweger's house. They weren't they even working in an office, because they couldn't afford the men. So, they're trying to get a commit as much of a commission as they can out of Cooper Gooding Jr.'s character, and he was negotiating a contract, and he eventually agreed to uh, to just play out the contract for this year and negotiate for next year. That's what they first agreed to, and then eventually he had a great year. Uh, Cooper Gooding Jr.'s character did had a great year with the, with the Arizona Cardinals, and he got into the play. It was team guy in the playoffs, didn't get very far, uh, but got in the playoffs. And then the next year, he got an eleven. A four-year, eleven, almost twelve million dollar deal with with Arizona, and Gus announced that he did like an interview or so with Roy Firestone, and he, and Roy, and uh, Cooper Green Jr. just broke down and cried, and said, "I like to thank my my, my wife, my two kids, my, my my teammates, and my agent Toby McGuire." Uh, I said Toby McGuire, and said Jerry Jerry McGuire, because. He's my guy, and and he got such a big commission. Jerry McGuire did. They was able to be a successful sports agent after that. Because now he could afford. Uh, when, when commission he was getting, like two percent commission of a of a twelve million dollar contract, he was able to afford uh, a, an office building and be successful. Well, that was going on. He decided to uh, at first try to quote save money by proposing to uh, Renee, Renee Zoringer's character said look if we get married I don't have to pay you anything because we're, we're man and wife and we're partners in this thing you know equal partners and stuff and she said yeah because she thought it was a real proposal and they actually did get married the two characters actually did get married and then she and then when the business was not going so well she decided to take a job in San Diego uh, but she decided to stay where she was and try to figure out what to do with, with herself. And then that's when Jerry decided to come home to Renee Zellweger's character, Dorothy. So she goes on to Dorothy and, and he comes out with the cheesy line, the other cheesy line, which is, was, of course, you complete me. First he tells her that, that uh, I love you and you complete me. Uh, when the line came about earlier on in the film, when the, when, the, when Jerry and Dorothy left uh, the company, and they saw a couple, a man, man and woman who were deaf in the elevator, and they were starting learning sign language. And naturally, of course, Jerry didn't know of sign language. This is what, what did he say? And Renee Zellweger's character says, new, "New sign language is," and she says, "Oh." He, he said to her that you complete me. Of course, you remember, she, of course, they both remember that line. And so at the end of the movie, when, she, when Jerry says to Renee Zellweger, he said, you complete me. And he's trying to go further to confess his love for her. And Renee Zellweger says, just shut up. Just shut up. And then the other cheesy line is, you hand me a hello. 
And all of them went, aww. Uh, because he had like a women's group in, in her house. And all of them went, aww. He had me a hello, aww. Isn't that sweet? I mean, I'm like, that had to be the corniest lines to end, end the movie, pretty much end the movie with. Uh, but they had another scene with, with uh, Renee Zellweger's kid, who of course stole the movie. And she said, oh, they, you know that human head weighs eight pounds? I mean, I mean who would say all these crazy trivia stuff and stole every scene that he was in and he was like oh isn't that cute and, and Jerry McGuire was going oh isn't that cute with the kid you know and I was saying oh you know, human hand weighs 8 pounds or you know about this you know about this and he keeps doing and he gives like me and his pieces of trivia to, to to Jerry and he goes oh you know, and I got I mean Oh God! I mean, I, I always wanted to kill myself with it, with, it, with that stuff because it's so cheesy and so lame. And I'm not saying that the the performances were, were, were damn good, but the problem, of course, like I said earlier, that that Cooper Gooding Jr. won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for this role, and it's like one of the worst Oscar decisions. Well, lately, for the past like 25 years or so. The Oscars have been making some pretty god awful decisions. Well, over the history of the Oscars, they made some pretty god awful decisions and stuff. That was one of them. Giving Cooper Gooding Jr. the Oscar for this role. Uh, because, you know, at the time, because you have an, an over the top performance, they, they gave him the Oscar for, for supporting acting. They did that with Jack Palance as well for City Slickers. Also gave him, a, he also played an over the top performance. So, oh, you, and he goes, like, you know what the meaning of life is? Just this. It's one thing. This one damn thing. And it was kind of like a cheesy line. And, 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 and at the time, it was an over the top performance for Jack Palance. And they gave him an Oscar for, for that role. Same thing with Cooper uh, Gooding Jr. because he yells, show me the money. Uh, they gave him the Oscar for it. I'm sure Cooper Gooding Jr. was white. And we're not giving the Oscar for, the, for that role. They said he was black, they gave him the role, and unfortunately, Cooper Gooding Jr. has been in shitty movies ever since. Ever since then. Uh, but as a movie, as a movie, it's a stereotypical movie, it's not that... I mean, it was a good movie. Tom Cruise gave a great performance. I, I don't know why Tom Cruise has never gotten an Oscar for anything. Uh, he should have gotten an Oscar for um, either Rain Man or for... Born on the 4th of July, that's what, those are the two roles that he should have got. either one of those two roles he should have gotten an Oscar for. And he also gave a great performance here, and, and he should have got one. And then one of the actors that the, been acting for, for, th for 35 years in movies, he should have gotten at least at least one Oscar for all this time, and he didn't. And Renee like I said, Renee Zerling, I think this was the role that the Renee Zerling should have won the Oscar for, and not Cole Mountain. Uh, because she, she gave him a, a bad performance in this movie, I felt. And of course, I, I think even the kid, even, even the little kid, uh, I think he also was nominated for an Oscar. But that's when she was sitting there so young, he couldn't even make it to the end of the Oscars because he probably fell asleep by, by, after an hour. That's how boring the Oscars were. But, and the movie itself, I think Jerry Maguire is definitely one of the better movie roles, movies out there, especially if you have to be a Tom Cruise fan. Uh, so let me review of the movie Jerry Maguire. Please click on the video, please rate it, feel free to comment on it. Please subscribe to my channel and please forward this video onto your Facebook pages. You can check out all my reviews and not only my YouTube channel, but at rallyc.com, that's all WDY, and that's c.com, that's our homepage in Rally Reviewer, Christine Moore, and please check out all of his videos on his website. Matter of fact, this video is my 999th video on YouTube. Can't believe I have that many, and hopefully, maybe the next video will be uh, scoring my 1,000th video on YouTube. So look, for, look, look for that. It's going to be coming very soon. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.